up empty after fighting so hard. Uh, what's the mood of the team now? Yeah, I mean, I think we know that was an awesome hockey game, just battling for seven whatever periods it was. And uh, we gave it our all. It's hard to be mad at them about anything. Uh, we poured everything into that game and came up short. You know, they got a nice shot off there at the end. Credit them with, with that. And now our focus is just getting ready for tomorrow. Uh, you know, when the teams combined for over 130 shots, there's a lot of scoring opportunities. The one that jumped out at me was Klein's, hits the pipe, <laughs> it goes out. Ethan. Players thought it was in. Yeah. Uh, you know, what was the mood there? Yeah, it's tough, but I mean, that stuff happens all the time. Um, just got to battle through the adversity. I think Klein hit the crossbar a couple of times today. So that's tough, uh, but she, she'll get another opportunity and, and she's always good for goals for us. So um, you just got to get through it. You know, it's just like when you think you should have gotten a, a power play and you didn't, it's just something you have to get through. So part of the game, I'm sure Bemidji felt the same way at times with some of the scrums they had in front of our net. So uh, just got to keep working through it. Had a bunch of goals last week. What's going on here? Yeah, good goaltending, good defensive play on both sides. You know, there there aren't a lot of uh, opportunities in the ozone. You know, you know, there's just not a lot of passing lanes available. It's kind of mucky and and clogged up in there. So it's uh, it's typical for our our games against Bemidji. I know the last couple we scored. Uh, four goals apiece in each of those games, but it's just different. It's playoff hockey. This is uh, not not surprising. That seven periods is surprising, but the uh, low scoring affair is not that surprising. What, what are you saying to Maddie after this? She plays her heart out. Yeah. Come up on a losing end of one like this. Yeah, I thought she played fantastic. And it, if it wasn't for her, our game would have ended a long time ago. You know, back in the third period. So. She played great. Like I said, that kid took a great shot, you know, and that's, that's part of the game. So I'm proud of the way we battled. This is a historic game that we just played in. Uh, two very determined teams, one desperate not to end its season, one desperate to try to end uh, Bemidji season. And, you know, it's just the puck's going to go in. At some point, you know, when you're playing that long, you actually think it might be a fluky thing off a weird bounce or, or something like that. But like I said, she took a nice shot. So credit them with sticking with it Both too. Both teams were pretty sharp right to the end. Yeah? I thought. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, I think within reason, um, you know, Gabby had an open net there at the end too. And then Sid fired one. I don't know if it was crossbar and out. So some of those, I just think when you're tired, it's just you're – battling through just that fatigue and focus um, but yeah we emptied the tanks and our kids are in great shape obviously ready to go it's just it's more the mental piece that goes after uh you know four periods let alone like into the seven yeah, yeah exactly we we're on game three right so just get some rest <laughs> yeah. get some rest and recharge the mind as yes much as exactly sleep hydration nutrition and just move forward and there was a great chance, as you said, on both sides, both yeah. played well. Both suddenly we get a break. Yep. With the one that looked like it was in, we're upstairs getting yeah. groggy too, right? We reached for our pens and yeah. and they're coming down the other way. And then they had to Oh, tell that. me about it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And that shot, I yeah. think it came out quickly. I thought I hit so a So Maddie pen. had a quick love on it, thankfully. But yeah, we sort of celebrated like, uh, you know, as if there was a whistle. So right. again, we're, we're learning. I said, hey, you can't uh, stop playing until there's a whistle. So keep going. <laughs> yeah, they weren't going to sit there and congratulate you for coming close. So. No, no. But our kids were almost like jumping Great. off yeah. the bench thinking it was over. So it could have been a real mess. <laughs> well, it's got to be a record. It's nice to be part of it, even though the short end, that's one you'll remember for a long time. Oh, yeah. It's, just a, it's a great hockey game. And obviously, we wanted to win, and our kids are just gutted right now. But um, I said, we'll. This is something we'll be talking about for a long time. This well, game. still 406 tomorrow, right? That's right. That's right. Then we're moving on. That's right. What was your previous long game being a part of? Um, I think a double OT. Like, we were talking about that as coaches. The last double OT at that point we were in was at uh, Minnesota in the final faceoff a few years back where we won when Stalder batted that puck in. Um, and that might have been my career longest, too. Yeah. That's just a short game. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's nothing. <laughs> That's right.